What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Savatech once again, and we're going to try to clear up the misconceptions between mining operating systems or miner OSs and miners themselves, the applications that the operating system is running to actually mine the cryptocurrency. To do this, we're going to be covering primarily mining operating systems and why they are used. And then we will go ahead and cover if you can use particular miners, because that seems to be uh, a point of contention and then why you should probably consider using a mining OS even in the case of your gaming rig over using a miner installed on let's say Windows. But before we get into it here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for Rocket Chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers, are bots. All right, we are filling up these sponsor spots, I promise. But of course, that Rocket Chat perk is down there if you guys are interested. So mining operating systems, what are they? They are essentially Linux distributions, specifically Ubuntu, which that is the Linux distribution that they run off of. And then they are just a customized image of Ubuntu that allows you to easily basically deploy and manage your miners. Why would you want to do this? Well, in the case of having multiple miners, it allows you to essentially control all of those miners from a single web GUI. And then you don't have to basically go around to each individual miner and restart the miners and set everything up. When we talk about basically setting up mining rigs, I always use Hive OS or Simple Mining and there are affiliate links or referral links down in the description for both of those. And then there are other options like Rave OS and even Minerstat, which even has a Windows application that'll run and let you manage it through, of course, Minerstat if you prefer to go that route. And it will make your life a lot easier at the end of the day. The other thing about it is that in the case of mining software, like let's say Phoenix, T-Rex, Team Red Miner, and so on, they are always flagged as viruses by Windows. This is because of the whole crypto jacking problem that was going on for forever. So pretty much it's just a blanket, always a virus if it's any kind of crypto software. Well. When you have that as a problem, of course, being flagged as a virus, you have a couple options. You could approve it, right? But what do you risk with that? Well, if you go to Google and you search like Phoenix Miner or you search T-Rex Miner, you'll get a lot of different options. And the problem is you can't be for certain that any of those options don't also have some sort of malicious software within them. And that makes it really difficult to stay private and secure on your Windows machine because once you allow that through your antivirus, you've pretty much told the operating system, let it do whatever it wants and you've compromised your security. So the advantage of using a mining OS as opposed to that is they are pre-compiled with all of the software on them. In the worst case, right? that you have a malicious piece of software within one of the operating system distributions, you're pretty much locked down to just that operating system, right? So it won't technically be able to get out. It could get out over your network. That's why I've always recommended, of course, trying to keep your network separate from your day-to-day -day stuff, but that's also pretty unlikely as well. Anyways, it's an easier way to just make sure that you maintain some sort of security. Whatever you do, if you are gonna run a miner on Windows, that's fine. I wouldn't recommend connecting to any sort of personal information, personal data, or of course, financial data, especially because at that point you've compromised your system. And there's no way of really knowing because you just allowed it through your antivirus and it's gonna do whatever it wants. So that's the primary reason from a security standpoint to use a mining operating system. And then the primary reason to use it outside of that, like we mentioned, is just ease of use and management. As opposed to having to go to each individual rig, you can just hop into a single web GUI and manage it. In the case of some of these two, 
There are even mobile apps that you can check out or at least mobile alerts. For example, on Simple Mining, you have Telegram and Discord alerts. Hive OS, you have Telegram and Discord alerts. And Rave OS, which is a newer one that we're going to be trying to review here shortly, has a mobile app that you can go ahead and just load in. So pretty awesome stuff. And let's go ahead and take a look at them because you do need to realize that each one of them will come with certain fees. Now, in the case of Hive OS, you do have the option of running up to four rigs for free with the fifth rig, basically clicking on a switch that makes you pay for all of them, unless you mine to the Hive on pool. But if you do decide to mine to the Hive on pool, it is super important that you realize that, that there is a 3% fee. So while you will not be paying anything out of pocket, you will be paying a 3% fee to their pool. If you do decide to pay out of pocket and still mine to the Hive on pool, the Hive on pool has a 0% fee. You can also use other operating systems and other mining software to connect to the Hive on pool and benefit from the 0% fee if you so choose. It is also PPS plus to clarify on what their pool is. Now for simple mining, what I really like about simple mining right now is that they have a beta for the AMD RX 6800 and 6900 and it is functioning really, really well. So I'll leave the referral link down below. If you guys have 6000 series cards and you're looking for an operating system on it, you can check this out. It also does have the best Wi-Fi support, in my opinion, out of all the operating systems so far that I've tested for mining in particular. It's super easy to set up as you set it up in the basic config file. They basically give you 30 days free so feel free to use those 30 days for free and then their rig pricing is two dollars for one rig and then the discount comes in at 50 rigs plus where it goes up to or down to a dollar and 80 cents per rig and then so on per this chart right here so you do get 30 days free with simple mining to try it out see if you like it but if you do continue to use it they don't have up to four rigs free, like something like Hive on, or Hive OS, excuse me. And then finally you have Rave OS, and this is one that I haven't fully vetted, and we're gonna go over this in a later video, but the benefit to, to Rave OS is that you get free on two miners. So basically you get to use Rave OS completely free, and then you can use Rave OS for free on all of the partnered pools, that are basically on two miners. So this does include Ravencoin as well as Ethereum and quite a few others. So this one is really enticing at this point because of that no fee for, for your mining pools. And so if you are already mining two, you know, two miners, then this may be an option you want to take a look at. It's free with one free worker and then from two to a hundred workers, it's $2 a month per worker. And then of course they have some other special conditions and so on if you're using, depending on like using their pools and so on. So in my opinion, all of them are basically the same until we can really dive in. They will function pretty similarly as far as managing overclocks and so on. I've had really good luck and success with Hive OS as well as simple mining. And then of course we still do need to do some testing on Rave OS. You are aware of the pricing factors so you can determine on whatever you want to do as far as that goes and make your decision. Then we need to basically talk about, of course, the option of just manually installing the miners on Ubuntu because Ubuntu is free. You could in theory do that and then you don't have to pay them anything. You could come up with your own management software, but that's gonna take some time. So it's really gonna be up to you on like how much work you wanna put in versus how much money you wanna save. And like I said, these are services that make it easier to manage and control your rigs. So that's why people use them. Finally, just to be super clear, a mining operating system does not run any proprietary miners. They all run basically miners that are currently available like Phoenix Miner, T-Rex Miner, and Team Red Miner. So the fees, the dev fees from those miners will still apply in the operating systems. 
there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope this cleared it up and kind of give you, gives you a good idea on what your options currently are. I hope you leave a like. A lot of y'all haven't hit that notification bell. So if you've watched, let's say, I'm gonna say if you watched more than three of my videos, hit that notification bell. If you've watched more than three of my videos and haven't subscribed, then come on, dude. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.